What's happening everyone? Welcome back to the shop. Now this is part two or episode two of this electrical basics series. Basically this is a series where me as a qualified electrician give a voice to people who are not electricians on tips and tricks about how to solve electrical problems that they might come up against. Things like changing sockets, maybe changing a switch, wiring a plug, that kind of thing. I've already done the first episode on wiring a plug. I'll leave a link up here if you want to go check it out or it might be here, somewhere like that. Now in this video, I'm going to show you how to diagnose and potentially solve for yourself one of the most common call outs I get, which is help all the sockets in my house no longer work, what has happened. So I'll show you how you can diagnose and fix this problem and absolutely no tools required. So you could save yourself some time and a few pounds as well, which is always nice. And if you do require an electrician in the finish, it will save them time when they arrive to your house too. So let's jump in and take a look. We will be looking at a consumer unit, also more commonly known as your fuse board. Um, even though it doesn't contain any fuses anymore, but they're still known as fuse boards by everybody. So we'll take a look at this. I'll show you how to diagnose the problem and how to potentially solve it. Let's do it. Right, before we jump in and solve this problem, I just wanna let you know about some legal issues. It is completely illegal for anybody other than a registered electrical contractor to open up a consumer unit or fuse board and do any work inside it. So add a breaker, take out a breaker, do anything inside in it. You must be a registered electrical contractor. So anything I show you in these series of videos will be considered minor works and so a non-electrical contractor will be able to carry these out. So I will show you nothing in these videos that will get you legally into trouble. Make sure whatever jurisdiction you're in, whether you're in Ireland, the UK, Europe, America, anywhere like that, if anything I say in these videos pertaining to where you are, check out the legalities of your particular country. But for these videos I will be using what's legal here in Ireland. And like I say, it is completely illegal for anybody other than a registered electrical contractor to do any work inside an fuse board. That includes qualified electricians. If they are not registered insured, they still cannot touch these things. It comes under restricted works in Ireland. That being said, ye as homeowners or occupiers can reset your trips. That's not a problem at all. And that's all you will need to do to diagnose this problem. So let's take a closer look. Right, we're zoomed in on the consumer unit or fuse board there, and what I'll do is just remove the door, just to make it a little bit easier, so that's not flapping in our way. Now, the fault that I most commonly get called out to the houses for, or phone calls about is, like I say, help me, half all the sockets in my house have gone off. My lights still work, but I have no power to any of the sockets in my house. Is my house gonna burn down? Um, why is half electricity in my house gone? Is this gonna cost me thousands? And uh, people tend to panic. It's usually something I can talk them through over the phone until I can get out there. If the problem needs for a diagnosis, I can generally get the power back onto most of the houses. So this is what I'm gonna help you guys with now. So you lose the power to all your sockets. So if just a basic understanding of your fuse board, down on the bottom row here, depending on the make and type of your fuse board, this is just like a generic type that you would see here in Ireland. It could come in a two row, a one row or a three row board. Generally, you will have the very first breaker down here and this should be fully labeled by the way. If it's not, get an electrician out to make sure that they label all the circuits in your board so that you know what's what. You will have your main breaker here. This is a 100 amp, it's just an isolator. Depending on when your house is wired, you might see something like this, which is a 63 amp Neo Z switch fuse unit. So you'll see that sit there, that's your main breaker. Generally then to the right of that, you will have a 32 amp, which is for your cooker, your hob and your oven. To the right of that then, you will see your 10 amp breakers. They're generally your lighting circuits, then your smoke detectors and stuff. Most fuse boards, consumer units will have more breakers than this. Like I say, this is just a basic one for demonstration purposes. Up on our top row then, this is what we're concerned about. And it's the double size breaker here known as the RCD or an RCCB. Now I'm not gonna get into how these things work. That's more of a technical conversation. This is just how you guys diagnose this problem. So the sockets are gone off in your house. I generally tell people, go and look at your fuse board. Is there any breakers down? And they will usually say, yes, the big one is down. Now some of the older makes, this guy will only try trip down and he will be in the halfway down position. And people tell me, no, all my breakers are still up. I say, go to this guy, push him all the way down and then try and reset him. If this guy resets, great, perfect. The power should come back onto your sockets. It might be an intermittent problem with an appliance. So it's just something you will have to keep an eye on. If this thing refuses to go back up, then you have a problem somewhere on your socket circuit. So this is how you diagnose it. 
one by you flip all these guys down so everything to the right of this guy should be governed by him so the reason you lose all the sockets in your house is because all these individual circuits to the right of it are powered through this guy so if this guy goes off to your rcd you lose everything and what will be on your rcd is your sockets water heaters your immersion newer fuse boards or newer wired houses will have the heating system on it as well and nine times out of ten it will be something to do with water that has caused this problem either your immersion your kettle your dishwasher, your washing machine, or a pump, something like that. So this is how we solve the problem. We switch all the breakers to the right of him down, and then we reset this guy. If he goes up, perfect. If he doesn't go up, you could be in trouble. What you will have to do is kill the main fuse and try and reset it. If it still doesn't reset, chances are you have a fault unit, call an electrician. But if it does go up, you can continue on. We're almost home to solving this problem. You will then switch these breakers to the right of it up one by one. And you will switch them up until the breaker you switch up trips it out. Then you know, okay, that's the circuit. And on this case, it's circuit number 18. It will be marked on our board. Let's just say it's the kitchen sockets. So now what we can do is leave that guy off, switch him up. Now we've restored power to the rest of the socket circuits, our heating system and our immersion in our house. We know now we have a problem on our kitchen socket circuit. We can leave that off. Now, like I say, nine times out of 10, this problem is caused by a faulty appliance. The point of this guy is that it monitors the current going out on the live and coming back on the neutral. And it's a bleed off the earth that causes it to trip. And it's extremely sensitive down to 0 0.03 of an amp. And like I say, nine times out of 10, it's either the kettle, the dishwasher or the washing machine. So what you will do is go to that circuit in your house now and plug everything out. Come back to your fuse board and switch this guy up. If he stays up and this stays up, happy days. We know it's one of those appliances. You can go around then and plug your appliances back in one by one until it trips again. That has identified a problem for you. I guarantee you, it's probably the electric kettle. You plug it in, this guy goes out. There you go, you have a faulty kettle. Now you can either get the appliance repaired or buy a new one. You've just solved the problem yourself and uh, no need for an electrician to come out to your house. However, if you do plug everything out and you switch this breaker back up and this guy trips again, it potentially you have a problem on the circuit and you will need to call an electrician. Again, when you look into it further, it's very rare that it's the circuit itself that has broken down. So it might be something that has filled with water, a junction box outside, an outdoor socket, something that's left plug in with a lead outside. It's generally, like I say, I'm gonna say nine times out of 10, a hundred times in this video, but it's generally something to do with water. Okay, so that will solve your problem for you. So just to go through it again, all the sockets in your house have gone off. You go to your fuse board, you will see the double size breaker, which is your RCD, it should be marked on your board, that will be down. If it will not go back up, switch everything off to the right of it. Switch them back up, if it goes back up, perfect. Then switch your circuits on one by one until the circuit with the problem switches up and trips that guy out. Now you've identified your circuit. Now like I say, it could be any circuit in your house, bedroom sockets, sitting room sockets, kitchen sockets, utility sockets, whatever. You, that will identify the circuits. You will be able to switch them up, restore the power to the rest of the house, plug everything out on that particular circuit. If the switch goes back up, happy days, you know it's one of the appliances. If it doesn't go back up, call an electrician. At least now you've identified the circuit with the problem. You will save the electrician time when they arrive to your house. Um, like I say, if it does go back up when you pull out all your appliances, you know it's an appliance, plug the appliance back in one by one until it trips again, then you've identified the faulty appliance. Leave that appliance out, either get it repaired, get it looked at, or get yourself a new one. And that's how you solve this problem. It's not really a catastrophe, you needed no tools to do it. Completely legal for a homeowner or occupier to do it themselves, and uh, yeah, that's it, nice and simple. Like I say, this is a call I get almost every week, sockets in my house have all gone my rcd is stripped and it will not go back up what do i do and that's exactly what you do right there we go that's how we solve the problem potentially of help all the sockets in my house have gone off the lights are still working but i've lost power to half my house what do i do well that is exactly what you do now if it happens to turn out that it is the heating circuit that is the problem 
call an electrician, it's probably not something you're going to get to the root of yourself because the heating is full of fixed appliances like pumps and stats and things like that, stuff that you won't be able to go at yourself. So call an electrician in that case, but at least you will have identified the circuit that's causing the problem. You can leave that off and restore power to the rest of your house, no problem whatsoever. Again, if the RCD will not go back up with everything off, it's probably a faulty unit. Again, call an electrician. And if you're unsure and you want it checked out, if you want your house tested, call a registered electrical contractor if you want peace of mind. So as always, if you're unsure or not confident with any of this stuff, please call a registered electrical contractor. However, if you are and you take those steps, you will uh, more than likely either narrow down the problem for the electrician or you will solve it yourself pretty simply. So there you go guys, comments and questions below. If this has been useful, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, it helps me out a lot. And I shall see you in the next video. Take it easy.